Do you want to know how to do things like this? And this? Or this? In this video, I'll show you my five favorite plugins for Final Cut Pro. First up, ProZoom by the Final Cut Pro, my most frequently used plugin for editing by far. You can zoom in, zoom out, pan and add can burns effects without having to mess with keyframes. Just add it to the timeline wherever you want to zoom. Now click and drag the on-screen controls to tweak the zoom amount. In the settings, you can also customize animation time, positioning, easing, and even sharpening. Incredibly easy, right? At only 25 US dollars, this plugin is an absolute steal for its capabilities and a must have for Final Cut Pro editors. Next up, effects and transitions by Arthur Moore called Badass FX5. It's a wide variety of effects such as multi point zooms, overlays, frames, freezes, flickers, Polaroids, and even stretch and chrome There's also a couple of transitions with light leaks, blur, and a lens change effect. I use the impact effects all the time. It really helps to amplify the power of something that appears on the screen. The next plugin, Dehancer Pro, is all about film emulation and effects. It's a suite of different tools, such as exposure, defringe, color correction, and much more. Additionally, there are effects like film looks, vignette, film grain, halation, and bloom. It has false color output, handy for quality control. But that's not all. Dehancer Pro also features conversion profiles, and you can even generate LUTs based on your settings. That's a lot of functionality packed into one plugin. It's a great tool that I use all the time to achieve that cinematic look. 10% off with the link in the description. Moving on, something funky from Motion VFX, Emery Style. As the name suggests, this one is all about changing the look and feel. With Emery Style, you get a variety of overlay effects, like CCTV, Dreamy, Glitch, Graphic, and Retro. You can customize the characteristics of each look, and they all come with smooth in and out animations. Best of all, it's a drag and drop setup, making it easy to use and keep track of on your timeline. I often use these effects to create certain moods, or to add that little extra something. You know what I mean. Finally, a nifty little plugin for easy background separation. Keeper. Although Apple has now added a scene removal mask in Final Cut, it's nowhere near as effective as Keeper, and definitely not as easy to use. All you need to do is add the Keeper effect to your clip, and voila, no background. With Keeper, it's really quick and easy to add text or objects behind a person. Simply duplicate your clip, add the effect, and insert your graphics in between the two layers. Boom! I also use it to make changes to the background without affecting the subject, or vice versa. It's super handy. So there you have it, my five favorite Final Cut Pro plugins for 2023. Of course, there are many more cool plugins out there. And actually, it was really difficult to choose just five for this video. Let me know in the comments below which ones you use the most. And if you like what you see, then don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.